Once again, good morning, good afternoon and good evening. So today I got Galaxy Note 10 Plus Exynos model and I already flashed the Lineage OS which is currently the latest one having Android 16. You can see that Lineage OS version is 23.0. This is actually nightly version and after flashing the nightly version uh, like uh, you will get the update after like 10 to or 14 days or after 15 days and you can update the version accordingly whenever it get released. So this is the build date and this is the build number the mobile phone will get updated from Android 12 like if you are having stock firmware of the Android 12 the mobile phone will get updated from Android 12 to Android 16 and you can enjoy uh, the applications which are not working or not running on Android 12 Lineage OS having Android 16 is providing screen lock like uh, if you want to add fingerprint you can do that if you want to add pattern lock you can do that but there is no uh, face unlocking option in this ROM and the fingerprint scanner is working very perfectly well I flashed this nightly version like 10 days uh, before or 10 days ago and uh, today I can see that the updates already arrived currently this version is having old control center yes it is an old one maybe it will get changed with the update maybe i'm not pretty sure but maybe application that you can see on my mobile phone straightly downloaded from the google play store when well, nowadays it is little bit difficult to make the device certified and also mostly custom rom are coming with the device is not certified if you want to make the device certified then you need to root the rom and install the modules well, I downloaded all the applications from the Play Store. Even my device is showing not certified. Banking application are working because the ROM is not rooted. As far the ROM is not rooted, banking application will be working. If you root the ROM, then you need to install the modules to make the banking application to work on the ROM. AOSP ROM always be fast. If you compare it with the stock firmware, you will it's uh, definitely find it fast. The performance is so good and especially you will see that the battery life will get much better than the stock firmware. Watch your favorite videos on YouTube or download it. Whatever you want to do, you can do that straightly do not hesitate that uh, after flushing the ROM, you will have issues with the applications. Calling is working perfectly. Bluetooth is working perfectly. Let me open the camera application. Camera application is working fine. Like if you want to record videos, you can do that by simply tap the record button or if you want to take pictures you can do that simply tap the shutter button the front camera and the rear camera both are working fine so this is the lineage os settings interface if you want to add language come to the language section tap add language and there are bunch of languages available whatever language you like just tap it and download it and then use it and there is an option to set the particular application language also those who have galaxy note 10 or note 10 plus or note 10 5g or galaxy note 10 plus 5g but must be exynos only not for snapdragon if you have an unlock bootloader you can try flashing the rom if you are a flashaholic if you are flashing different rom testing it and must go for it the flashing method is same for the galaxy note 10 note 10 plus note 10 5g note 10 plus 5g but we have to use the files with the, the model like according to the model we have to download the files and flash it now if you want to know how to flash the rom you need to watch the further video getting help from my videos do not forget to like the video do not forget to share it with others and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet just tap the subscribe button tap the bell icon tap the select all thank you links are all provided in my video description in case if you have galaxy note 10 which have a code name d1 then you need to click the galaxy note 10 link 
so this website will get open and download the latest lightly version of the lineage os 23.0 by clicking on this sign right and you need to download the recovery.img file also by clicking this sign just download these two files the rom file and the recovery file now in case if you have galaxy note 10 5g code name is d1x then click the link and download the lineage os rom file by clicking this one this uh, sign and the recovery.img also by clicking here and in case if you have galaxy note 10 plus the code name is d2s which currently i have so same thing you need to download the rom file right and the recovery file right and in case if you have galaxy note 10 plus 5g code name is d2x right then same thing download the rom file by clicking here and uh, download the recovery.img file also by clicking here now we have to download gaps also so currently mind the gaps is the variant that are provided for the lineage os 23.0 now you need to check the android 16 and it must be lineage os 23 well no worries because i have provided the link click the link and this web page will get open now we have to download the arm64 variant like click the arm64 and whatever the latest version of the mind the gaps provided download it now first of all i would like to thanks to the ocean forever the developer of the identity rom who is providing the porting rom of the yeah, one ui6 one ui7 for the galaxy note 10 series so we have to download the twrp origin pack also link provided of this website click the link then first copy the password this one right copy the password first from here then click go file so this web page will get open highlight the or uh, the password which is already provided here then delete it and then uh, paste the newly password that i just copied from there and then click unlock then you will see the folders which are categorized now uh, only click the odin folder because we have to download the twrp and then you will see many files over here now we have to download the twrp 3.0 version do not go with the 2.0 right now here you need to check the model number of your mobile phone for example in my case i have n975f so i will click this file i will not download the m976b because it will not get flash on n975f must check the modern number first then download the recovery file accordingly right well here is my downloaded folder i have downloaded all the files so platform tools link provided download it Odin file a link provided downloaded also here is the eternity twrp origin pack of my mobile phone which is n975f lineage om rom and the mind the gaps and the recovery.img now first of all extract the odin in same folder then extract the platform tools in same folder and then copy the rom file and mind the caps file from the downloaded folder then open the extracted folder of the platform tools and paste both files in this folder now we have to rename these two files first of all select the rom file then press f2 then give a name rom the file name is supposed to be rom.zip then press enter key then select the mind the caps file and press f2 then give a name g a double p s the file name is supposed to be like g a double p s gaps dot z i p press enter key now go back and open the extracted folder of the odin then double click to open the odin click ok on this pop-up window and then on odin click any slot but i will suggest to go with the ap slot click ap slot then go to the downloaded folder where you have downloaded all the files double click to select the odin pack twrp odin is almost ready now coming back towards the mobile phone so there are a few things that we have to do before flashing first of all you need to check the mobile phone battery 
it must be charged. In case if the mobile phone battery is below 30%, then charge the mobile phone battery first. Then save all the internal storage data. Uh, whatever videos you have, whatever pictures you have, if that is important for you, must save the data because the data will get formatted during flashing. Then go to settings and uh, then go to security privacy and turn off the screen lock by selecting swipe and go back and then go to password pass key in case if you are using a stock firmware if you have login uh, samsung account must remove the samsung account otherwise the recovery will not get flash then uh, sync your google account and must remove it to avoid issues right and the most important part is to have an unlock bootloader right now i will simply power off the mobile phone always use usb 2 to type c data cable for flashing and always use a good quality of data cable check the other side of the cable must be connected with computer or laptop now check the mobile phone it must be totally power off now we have to boot the mobile phone into odin mode for that press and hold the volume up key volume down key then connect the cable with the mobile phone in few seconds you will see warning screen release both keys immediately right on this screen if you are not having a bootloader unlock you can read the instruction and you can unlock the bootloader in my case my mobile phone is having already an unlock bootloader so i will press the volume up key once to boot the phone into odin mode now here is the Odin mode screen of my mobile phone. The KG state must show checking. In case if your mobile phone KG state showing pre-normal, the recovery will not get flash. So the phone is connected with the computer and uh, booted already into Odin mode. On my computer screen, the mobile phone already detected because I have already installed the Samsung Android USB driver, right? Now on the Odin, Click option, untick the auto reboot, then go back to lock and then click start to start flashing the recovery file. After a few seconds, you will see pass means that recovery got flash. Exit the Odin, go back to the downloaded folder. Now, the mobile phone still booted into Odin mode. I have to boot the phone into custom recovery, TWRP recovery from the Odin mode screen, right? Check data cable must be connected. Do not disconnect the data cable. Now press and hold the volume up key, volume down key and power key. All three keys at same time. When mobile phone restart, release the volume down key first. Okay. When mobile phone shows Samsung logo, then release the, the power key. Okay, after 5 seconds, release the volume up key. Okay, now the phone will boot into TWRP. Team in recovery screen appears. Well, swipe to allow modifications. Then first thing first, tap wipe and uh, swipe to factory reset. When done, go back, tap format data, type Y, E, S, tap here. Done, then go back to main screen, tap reboot and tap recovery. Doesn't matter if, if your mobile phone showing no OS install, just swipe to reboot. So recovery screen got appears once again, swipe to allow modifications. And I will wait for the internal storage to appear on my computer screen. Okay, it is appeared on my computer screen. Now go to the downloaded folder and copy the recovery file from the downloaded folder then come to the internal storage of the mobile phone and paste the file on the internal storage okay done now on the mobile phone screen tap install then tap install image select the recovery file by tapping on it and scroll down select the recovery partition by tapping on it then swipe to confirm flash when it is done go back to main screen tap reboot and tap recovery doesn't matter swipe to reboot now this time the mobile phone will boot into lean age os recovery you can see that lean age os recovery got appears on my mobile phone first thing first tap factory reset then uh, tap format data factory reset tap format data when done then go back tap apply update 
apply from adb tap on it so the phone got booted into adb side load mode on my computer screen open the extracted folder of the plate farm tools then right click on the cmd and left click on the run as administrator click yes on next pop-up window the, the command window will open now we have to flash the rom so type the command adb space side load space rom dot zip check the spelling it is okay then press enter key rom file will start transferring to the mobile phone and at the same time it will flash also it will take a time we have to wait here rom is got flash and definitely you will see install completed with status zero right now we have to reboot the recovery to flash the gaps now tap advance then tap reboot to recovery and then uh, tap apply update tap apply from adb once again the mo uh, mobile phone will boot it into adb side load mode to flash the gaps file come to the computer screen type the command adb space side load space g a w p s dot z i p check the uh, check the spelling okay then tap, press enter key same thing will start the file will start transferring to the mobile phone and it will get flash also accordingly it will take a time here we have to wait once again and during flashing the recovery will ask signature verification field install anyway yes we have to tap yes okay done definitely you will see install completed with status zero so tap reboot system now and we are done from the computer i will close the command window then i will go back if in case if you want you can delete these two uh, extracted folders disconnect the data cable from the mobile phone and mobile phone will soon start first boot you can see that the first boot already completed this is the fastest rom for the galaxy note 10 series i will complete the setup screen well during setup screen this uh, on this uh, window or on this uh, screen you see that update lean age recovery along with the os or if you want to stick with the lean age os then you must put a tick sign update lean age recovery alongside with the os right then tap next all steps completed very smoothly and hopefully you also have completed all the steps very smoothly thanks to the developer who are porting for the uh, galaxy note 10 series a uh, porting rom latest android version so these are the default applications coming with the rom so i will tap settings then i will go to about phone and i will tap android version this is what i got right now android version is 16 which is currently latest lean age os version also currently latest android security update check the date bspin version provided kernel version build date and the build number do not forget to like the video and take a good care of yourself and say, uh, see you next time in my next video until then goodbye